Hi Year 3, it's Miss Stone here. Today we're going to be doing some dance about Charlotte's Web because I've heard that that's a story that you've been reading. So to start with we're going to be doing a little bit of craft because I want us to make one of these really lovely dance ribbons. So if you have one already that's great but if not don't worry because we're going to make one now. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some sort of holder for our ribbon, so some sort of stick. So if you go on any of walks for your exercise of the day, you might want to see if you can find any sticks. Or there's some straws in your home, you could use one of the straws. Or anything you have really at home, so you could use a pen or anything. Then we need some ribbon that will wiggle, ready for our dancing. So if you've got any leftover Christmas or birthday ribbon, maybe some sparkly springy ribbon, or even some strips of material, like an old t-shirt or something you can use to tie around our sticks for our ribbons. And the last thing you might need is some scissors. Great, so hopefully you've got some materials now ready to make your dance ribbon. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie on the bits of ribbon to make a lovely shape. So we might want to use some of our silver here. We need to use those scissors to cut a bit. We'll cut a little bit off. There we go. And then all you need to do for you to tie it on, this is a little bit fiddly, so you might need a grown up to help you. But you just tie it in a simple knot as you would if you're starting to tie your shoelaces. So you round once, pull it nice and tight, like that. And then we'll do it again to put a double knot to make sure it's nice and secure to go. Round and through, put it nice and tight. Okay, so that's our first bit. You can add on as many bits as you want. So I might add a bit of gold onto this one now. So we'll cut that there. And then you can tie it around. So go around here. And again, you're just doing that loop. So you're just going like you're going to do a shoelace around and through to put a knot. Put it nice and tight so it doesn't slip. And then again, round and through. There we go. Lovely. And I'll just do it on another one just so you can see different ones. So I might use my stick now. These are quite good because they're nice and solid and you can get nice long ones. It's nice if you can go onto a walk as well and have a look at the sticks. So the thicker ribbon. It's a little bit easier to tie, so we're going to do it again. We're going to go across and through. Again, one more bit like that. And if you have strips of material as well, you can do the same thing. Make it really colourful, as colourful as you want. Choose your favourite colours and tie it on nice and tight in a double knot. There you go. And you've got your dance ribbon. Okay, so we're nearly ready to start moving. We're going to do our warm up first of all. And for our warm up, we're going to do a little task on the paper quickly. So you might want to get pen and paper so you can do this at home. And what we're going to do is we're going to do lots of words associated with spiders. Because we're doing all about Charlotte's Web. And one of the main characters is spiders. So we're going to write a little bubble here with the word spiders in the middle. And we're going to think of any words that are associated, so what we think of when we think of spiders. Now, I'm going to have a little think as well, and you can do the same words as me, or you can do your own, and we're going to think of four words. So the first one I think of is that they move quite fast when they go across the floor. So I'm going to move fast as my first word. I could also think about how they're quite hairy, because the big tarantulas are quite hairy, aren't they? So I'm going to use that as one of my words, hairy. I could also think about what spiders do. So they make these really amazing webs, don't they? They're really clever spiders. And they're quite sticky, and that's how the flies stick to them, and they eat them. And that's how they eat their food. So I'm going to write sticky for our spiders' webs. And... My last one, I think I'm going to think about how the spiders are a little bit creepy because I don't really like spiders. 
I find them a little bit creepy, so I'm gonna have creepy as my word. So I've got four words, fast, hairy, sticky, and creepy. And we're gonna use that for our warm up. So you can have the same words as me, or you can choose your own, and then we'll get ready to start moving. Okay, everyone, so we've got our four words ready for our warm up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move like the, each of these words. So if your grown-ups with you, you might want to give your piece of paper to them and they can shout out the word for you and you can move like it. And then each time they say the word, you can change the way you're moving so that it's like one of these words. So I'm going to pop some music on. And I'm going to start with my word, creepy, to start with. So I'm going to think about how would I move if I was moving. Yeah. 
You could do some letters small. You could do them around your body. You could do them down low. Try and be as interesting and some creative as you can to write your message in Charlotte Square. Let's give it a go with some music a couple of times and really go for it and dance out. Here we go. So writing from the first letter whenever you're ready. Let's go. See you.